Trey Young couldn't go last night because of an ankle injury. And you would have thought, all right, big advantage for the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Bucks were, I think, nine-point favorites in Atlanta. Well, Atlanta held the lead throughout the game. Then in the third quarter, under eight minutes to go, Giannis went down with a hyperextended knee. The Hawks, that momentum continued. They ended up winning comfortably. And making predictions feels futile because the Stars simply can't stay healthy this year. And some of this has to do with conditioning. We've talked about this before. I think James Harden and Anthony Davis, their injuries had to do with their lack of conditioning. But a lot of the other injuries that have happened, you know, Giannis last night, Trey Young stepping on an official's foot, uh, even go back to LeBron injuring his ankle. We've had injuries. Uh, Kyrie Irving, his injury. You know, what had to do with conditioning and what is just a coincidence here? We've had bigger names here. And LeBron might have been right. It's the condensed schedule. Quick turnaround after winning the championship. But whatever the reason, the injuries have affected every aspect of the postseason. Now, we hope that uh, Trey Young and the Greek Freak are okay. They're able to play. I don't know if Giannis is going to be able to play. It looked really, really bad initially. He walked off on his own power, but I thought Reggie Miller made a great point when the Greek Freak is limping off. And, uh, you know, Marv Albert said, well, he's, you know, he's limping off on his own power. And then Reg said, that's probably adrenaline right there. He did come back. He sat on the bench, which I thought was a great move as if to say, hey, we can still do this. Like, let's what sometimes when that star disappears and you keep waiting for him to come back, they knew that he wasn't going to be able to play, but he was there in the moment with them. And I think that that while they didn't win, to me, I loved what I saw with the Greek freak doing that. But, uh, you know, we just have to settle for competitive games here. We may not see the best players. And I know that you're going to have people. We love to always attach an asterisk. Well, that team that won the title in 2021, that's an asterisk. It's just like the Lakers. Oh, they won in the bubble. That's an asterisk. You, you win. Uh, trust me. If the Suns, the Bucks, the Hawks, the Clippers win the title, they're going to celebrate you can kiss their asterisk. They don't care. They just want to win a championship here. It, this is, you know, attrition. Whoever is the healthiest is going to win the title. I've said it. I feel that way. We're seeing it unfold right in front of us. Whoever is the healthiest is probably going to win an NBA championship. That doesn't mean they're the best team. But this year, this was about health. Yes, McLovin. This isn't an asterisk. It's an asteroid. Hmm. It's just the whole thing's been blown up. This is going to be Hawks, Suns. Give me a. It's just so nuts, though. I'm not saying there's an asterisk, but is it? it could you have ever predicted this? No, and and I know that. Well, we did talk about uh, that there would be injuries. I remember when we talked about the quick turnaround and soft tissue. I remember being told that. Hey, keep an eye on soft tissue injuries. It's not every day where somebody gives you a heads up and says, hey, you know, the quick turnaround, the thing to keep an eye on is soft tissue injuries. I go, all right, I'll keep an eye on that. And then what did we have? Soft tissue injuries with some of our stars here.